Da Alvin Bragg of Manhattan responds to heinous migrant attacks on NYPD officers, calling them despicable acts. In response to a group of migrants' recent attack on New York police officers in the Big Apple, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg called the violent crimes heinous. On January 27, while on patrol in Times Square, New York Police Department officers came across the gathering of migrants. Police can be seen on camera requesting that the men go on. Then, in an effort to restrain the individual wearing a yellow jacket, the video showed the two officers holding them down. Before fleeing, the suspects were observed kicking the officers. Darwin the suspects are Andres Gomez, 19, Jorman Riveran, 24, Wilson Juarez, 21, and Kelvin Servita Aracha, 19. Joan Boda, 22, Yohenry Brito, 24, and Jandri Barros, 21, were also taken into custody for the attack. According to a statement that Fox News was able to get on Saturday, Bragg's office continues to work with law enforcement to bring everyone responsible for these heinous attacks to justice. It is clear from video and other evidence that some of the most culpable individuals have not yet been identified or arrested, and we are working hand-in-hand -hand with the NYPD to find and hold them accountable for their despicable acts, Bragg stated. We are simultaneously preparing to present charges to the grand jury on Tuesday, and will update the public as soon as legally permissible, he stated. We will not rest until every person who assaulted a police officer in this awful attack is held accountable. NYPD Commissioner Edward Acabin referred to the individuals in another statement on Saturday as cowards. An attack against a police officer is an attack against our entire society, Cabin stated. The NYPD is thoroughly investigating this incident, which saw a group of cowards assault two uniformed officers tasked with protecting our community. We will work tirelessly with the Office of the Manhattan District Attorney to identify and arrest every person who participated in this event, he said. According to reports, Gomez, Eracha, Juarez, and Riveran were accused of assault but were later freed on no bond. The group recently escaped to California by providing false identities to a nonprofit organization that transports migrants, a law enforcement source told the New York Post. Since then, U.S., Customs and Border Patrol have filed warrants for the guys, while Boda, who is also wanted, and Barros were released without bond, Brito is still in jail.